Hello students, uh, today now I am going to presenting a topic, our uh, name is environmental economics, nature and importance of environmental economics. Uh, first, uh, let us uh, discuss the concept like uh, meaning of environmental economics. Environmental economics is a science which deals with the interrelationship between environment and economical development. Environmental economics is a branch of economics. It discusses about uh, problem relating to the interaction of economic activities of the society uh, with the with this in with its environment. It finds solution to maintain the harmony between men and nature. In other words, says uh, environmental economics is. Uh, uh, a discipline which studies how best the economic growth of the society could be uh, maintaining without damaging uh, damaging the environment. And uh, let us discuss the uh, features of environmental economics. Uh, a branch of econ environmental economics is a branch of economics. It branch of a traditional economics. It explains uh, the inter interrelationship between environmental and economic development. And second one is a environmental economics is a human science. Environmental economics is human science. It attempts to maintain a harmony between men and nature. And the third one is a science and art. Environmental economics is a both science and art. As a science, it system systematized discipline like an art. It tries to solve the environment problems arising from economic development. And uh, uh, next one is both positive and normative science. Environmental economics is a both positive and normative science. As a positive science uh, tries to explain what we seen in the economy around us and as a normative uh, science it explains how we could wish the economy to allocate uh, distributed the resources. And uh, next one is find solution to environmental problems. Economic development is said to be the cause of environmental problems. Environmental economics finds out measures to carry out economic activities uh, without harming the environment. And uh, next one is explain the uh, economic functions of the environment. Environmental economics uh, uh, explain the economic functions of the environment. Environment performs three interlinked economic functions. Uh, one is uh, supply both renewable and non-renewable resources and uh, assimilate wastes uh, either by absorption by dispersion and uh, third one is uh, provides life support service by maintaining ecological balance and genetic diversity and next one is explain the interrelationship so environmental economics explain the interrelationship between environment and economy the economy is seen as a part of environment uh, surprisingly uh, the environment is also as a part of the economy and uh, dynamic in nature so environment is a dynamic in nature science uh, uh, science both the process of development and working of nature are continuously changing the interlinks between economy and nature are dynamic and uh, next one is include cultural values environmental economics explain the depends of a human being being on mother nature uh, in this process it includes several educational and uh, spiritual values in human beings and uh, last one is uh, it's a twin objective so twin objectives uh, conservation of environmental environment conservation of environment and the promise economic development are the twin objectives of environment economics uh, these objectives are uh, realized through the policy of uh, sustained development so these are all the some important features of environmental economics and uh, let us see the some important uh, scope of uh, environmental economics. So uh, environmental economics uh, 
scope of environmental economics shown its width uh, or boundaries and uh, it is ever expanding uh, dynamic branch of knowledge and uh, environmental economics it's a dynamism makes it's very difficult to limit the science within a framework and uh, at economist uh, consider the following as the scope of environmental economics uh, let us see the some important scope of uh, environmental economics scope of environmental economics may be uh, very broadly uh, classified into theoretical and practical aspects uh, one is uh, theoretical aspects includes uh, concept of sustainable development and uh, theory of public goods and externalities so these are all the some important uh, theoretical aspects of uh, environmental uh, economics and uh, practical aspects uh, includes uh, one is redefining growth and pollution control and cost benefit uh, approach so these three are the uh, some important practical aspects uh, of environmental economics and uh, let us see the some importance of uh, environmental economics the environment provides resources for production and consumption and it absorbs the disperses the waste of economic activities and uh, environmental economics studies the interrelationship of environment and development and it is an important branch of knowledge and uh, it uh, the uh, important of environmental economics may be discussed under the following uh, heads uh, let us see the one by one uh, importance of uh, environmental economics uh, economics and first one is priori priority to general welfare so development economics uh, stress on economic welfare whereas environmental economics gives priority to general welfare so economic welfare is a part of general welfare so the scope of environmental economics is much wider than the scope of development economics so general welfare is also known as uh, so, uh, social welfare it includes ethical or normative aspects of human life the main concern of environmental economics is maintaining a balance between development and environment and uh, second importance of uh, environmental is like uh, important to pollution control so pollution air water uh, noise and vision is the uh, direct outcome of economic development environment uh, environmental pollution is the extremely of economic growth social welfare cannot be maximized where the environment is polluted due to economic activities environmental economics gives top most priority to pollution control it tries to uh, it treat uh, a pollution control as a part of social welfare and uh, highlights of conservation resources and environmental economics highlights uh, the necessity of judicious use of uh, scarce resources a uh, majority of the resources used in the production or consumption are non reproducible over exploitation of uh, resources halts the process of development a uh, future generation are the real owners of the resources hence no one has a right to overcome over exploit the resources so and uh, next one is analysis the government policies the environmental economics it also analyzes the government policies the importance of environmental economics lies in the lies in its objective analysis of government policies it expects the government to form and execute the policies uh, conducive for sustainable development and uh, gives importance to equity so environmental economics attaches high priority to equity the profit making industries pollute the environment pollution affects all the people it is the social responsibility of um, polluters to bear the cost of uh, pollution control as stress on this uh, issue environmental economics is uh, respected as a human science thank you